Hey, where's my daddy or sea boat? Do 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 do. There he is. Yep. Um, of course, this is my palm, my freaking hand. My hand sized mini RC boat. And I'm gonna have to end its life. Well, not. It still works. Not have to put it in misery. But we have the. Toy Abby. So Abby, speedboat. It's one of those professionals. If we check it out on the back, we got her. I'll show you this, and I'll check inside of it later. And then we have a blade. Oh, it also comes with this little, like, stand that you can stand your boat on. But this is a little nozzle. This is, th come on. Come, oh, come on. So... There's this little fluorescent tube. I'll talk about that later. There's this. This is part of a motor cooling system. I'll talk about later. Oh, come on. Good focus. Thank you. Yeah, there's a little nuzzle. And then there's a nuzzle on the back of the boat. Right there. Yeah, right there. The little gray dot. Here's the front of the boat. Just for perspective. And this thing doesn't lie. I've actually tried it out today and it's bad. He has a little motor cooling system that sucks up water. I'll talk about it in the middle on this thing. Yeah, there's a flipping motor. And you see these? This thing turns tightly. Like, it will go. I broke it. Kidding. I'm kidding. It turns on its side, like right there. And just does that. So these little blade things are to help it from flipping over when doing that. And by the way, did I tell you that this boat has an automatic flip over function? So if it's upside down, like that, you move this. You can, you have to move the remote forward in reverse and move this side to side like this. And it'll flip itself over and drive away. And this thing, it hits some wakes. It's like that. 12 mile per hour speedboat. Good for me. Because I love speedboats. Now, let's show you the batteries, the remote, and then... Well... The inside and then the little motor cooling system that I was talking about. Put it on its stand. Here are the batteries. Pretty big. Besides my palm, their palm size battery. And this battery is kind of weird. One one cable's for charging and one cable's for power to the boat. Which one do you think is cable and which one's for power? If you said this is for power and this is for charging, you are correct. So all you that didn't say that, get back up and try again. But these batteries, it actually came with two. I mean, these aren't really long-lasting batteries, but that's that's the point. When you get a brand new RC boat. Now talking about that Ford function, you gotta move this up and down, this up and down like this, and then this side to side. So it looked like this. This would be up and down and this would be side to side and that get it to flip itself over and drive away.
guava juice. But now, let it, this looks like a drum remote. Let me go get me one of my drum remotes real quick. This compared to this. Why? They got the LCD screen. They got the everything except this one has two lights. You turn it on. Cool. But why? Okay. I will make it disappear. Remote disappear. Huzzah! It's gone! Well, that's good. But this is a boat remote. It's kind of like a drone remote, but it's only used for forward and backward functions and left and right functions. And this thing is actually kind of cool. Now it's time to show you the inside of the boat. First, you unclip this little clip, which lifts up this part. But it gets stuck right here, you know what you do? Just wiggle it back and forth until it... And then it shows this. Then, you unlock these. Unlock these four clips. It's kind of hard while holding the camera. Then this is the, and then it just pops off, just like that. Then here is the inside of the RC boat. Now about this little cooling system, if you look very closely, that spot where the nozzle is right there, the little fluorescent tube that runs through it, wraps around the motor, and then out through the side. That's what this and this, well, that was for. And this is also how you insert the batteries. So what you do, you grab your battery, and then you insert it in this slot. Just like this one. Plug it in. Let me do that. Just like that. See, it's connected. And then you cover it back up and then zoom, zoom, away you go. Mm. But when you're not using it, take the batteries out. Got that done. And that's done. Yeah, it's kind of good that it comes with two batteries because if you only play with one battery, which most of my drone and RC cars come with, it's not going to be fun. Two batteries, two rechargeable batteries are the way to go. I will show this thing in action tomorrow because I am recording this at... Hold on. Give me the time. Give me the time. Give me the time. 11 o'clock. So it is currently night time. We will Okay. I kind of hate this video because he's destroying some of the best drones ever. He just doesn't know calibrating. But that's going to be the end of this video. Well, kind of. The end of this skit. Hope you enjoy. Well, I don't really need to say it. Just bye. Wait till tomorrow to see this bad boy. And possibly this little thing in action. Okay. Tomorrow now, um, I just woke up, and yes, my speedboats are still here, but I just woke up today, so 
We might go to my auntie's. She lives on the water. We might go. We might not go. No. If we go to the lake, I'm going to bring that thing. Because, you know the thing about impressing little kids? Oh, by the way, I need to show you something. Ouch. That's all blood. I will tell you what happened at the end of the video. Ow, 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 ow. It hurts, guys. I'm sorry. It just Actually, let me switch hands. Okay. So, just ignore the thing I do. I just do it. And, well, the speedboats are amazing. I'm sure every kid that has to live on the water has, needs to have a speedboat. They are fun. I just took mine out yesterday, and it was fast. Like, it was 20 kilometers per hour, so it wasn't that fast, but it was fast enough for me to, to, for me to control, dude. That thing goes. And there was this dog named Max. Oh, my God. This is a funny story. So when I took it out, he saw it make the noises and he was barking and freaking out. And then when I would pull it in, he would bolt to me and grab the speedboat with his teeth in the water. So I I put this throttle up and down, up and down, up and down until it just lets go and then I could drive away. Because did I tell you that thing shoots? It doesn't. Start, slow down, slow down, slow, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. It's not like that. It's just, boom, just shoots. So what happened was, I put the throttle up, when he, as soon as he let go, and I bolted, dude. There was no way he could get me. And I was turning the speedboat, having a fun time. And then when I pull it in to see the battery, because we gotta check the battery once in a while. Actually, that thing lasted like an hour of play, I'm sure of it. Like 30 minutes. 10 to 30 minutes of play. So, that thing is useful. But... The little, little Maxi over here is like, no, I want to eat that thing. So when I pull it in, I go full speed, and then to help it slow down, I go completely reverse. So it's like, mm -hmm, and it stops. And then he looks at it, and as soon as I pull, pull the trigger forward just a little, because it's a... Mm, It's a hobby grade RC boat. It will, um, he will freaking, like, he thinks that it's like a play toy in the water. Oh, good times. One time he actually did get it in his mouth and walked away with it. I had to take it away, put it back in the water, give it a little wash from dog slobber, and it was off. And did I tell you that the case on it is watertight and it, Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, but this is gonna be so cool if we go to the lake and take it out. Because, look at that thing. Just look at it. Well, you'll see it. Hopefully you did. But, now it is time and if we take it to the lake i'm bringing it you know why 
I would love, love to inspire kids to get a speedboat. And if there's other speedboaters there. Well, if there is a, other people that have an RC speedboat. And I take mine out, I'm going to be like, they're going to be like, huh, maybe I should take mine out. I will bring my speedboat everywhere we go with water. And if there's dogs, I will die. Like, this boat will go through much. It's already almost been eaten. He got it in his mouth once, and then he couldn't walk away, so it slipped out of his mouth. And I had no time to clean it, so I just bolted off. Man, good times. Well, I'm going to make sure everybody wakes up, and we probably go to my auntie's house. Action. Hey guys, what's up here today? We're going to be... Sorry, I'm trying to the donut right now. We're going to be... Driving our seatbelt. Um, so maybe we should go outside and just do it. Oh wow, these are some big waves. Do you think it's too risky? Hey, be careful, Brighton. This is where it's slippery. It's way too risky. It's way too risky. Think so? Yeah, sure. I don't think so. You aren't even gonna try it? to the shore. Yeah, no way. Why? Alright, go to North Lake here. Explain. Try this spot right here, real quick. All right, well, we'll catch up in a minute.
Here, turn it around. Hey, the good news is if you lose control, it'll wash it up. You gotta go out straight, dude. You gotta go over the waves. Just go straight out, try not to turn. Go out to like right there where it's not too busy. Yeah, I know. You just got. Oh, wow. Look at these big waves. Hold up. These are enormous. It's doing backflips. Oh. Hey, you want me to give it a toss?